Här inne på American University i Washington finns en av USAs främsta experter på politik och presidentval, statsveten och professor James Thurber, som jag ska be förklara det som har kallats den smutsigaste och vidrigaste presidentvalkampanjen i manna minne. This campaign was recently called the most lurid and venomous campaign ever. Do you agree? I agree, and it's because there's been attacks on personalities especially for Mr. Trump against Hillary Clinton, but also back from her and 80 percent of the American public this morning in a poll from the Washington Post say that they are sick of the campaign. According to a recent opinion poll, uh, more Americans trust uh, Trump than Hillary Clinton. They think he's more honest than Hillary Clinton. How is that possible? Well, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I think if you look at the averages of many polls, you'll see that both of them are not very trusted, trusted by the American people. Their negatives are very high in both cases. Generally, Mr. Trump has been higher in his negatives than Hillary Clinton. How is it possible? The attacks on each other, the anger about, go anger about government, the uh, fact that she's had problems uh, talking about her emails and other issues. What has happened to the Democratic uh, voters? Once I think that the workers w w was a core group of the Democratic Party, now they have switched over to the Republican Party. Well, the core workers that are angry right now are white males, especially in the Rust Belt in America. That's where we've lost a lot of industry, like steel, coal, automobile industry. They're very angry because their lives have changed. They used to be working, worrying about their second house, vacation house, and their, and their tax rates. Now they're worried about whether they have enough to even feed themselves, but especially enough to send their kids to college to have a better life. They're angry. That's the core on the far right of the Republican Party. The Democrats have failed to reach out and, and uh, get those people. Who do you think will win the election? I think Hillary Clinton will win. Uh, it's just a few days before the election. She's ahead in the key battleground states. She could even lose in Florida, Ohio, and North Carolina and still win. She has been considered to be a hardliner on foreign policy. Will we see more American troops if she becomes president? I think what will happen is that she will not have any uh, large shifts in foreign policy and defense policy. She'll continue the Obama position and then move maybe more forcefully in Syria. And if Trump would win, what do we, who, how would that affect foreign policy? If Trump win, uh, let's start over. If Trump, it's just scaring me when you ask that question, but, <laughs> but if, if, if Trump was the winner, I think it would startle the world because he seems somewhat random in his speech and behavior and he doesn't know a lot about the world in terms of defense and foreign policy and trade policy. Goodbye. Goodbye.